All right, again, we'll hand over a, a fox hunting presentation for, to uh, buy in here. So thanks for coming out. Okay, very good. This. Thank you. Um, and just to reiterate, I'm buying N6BG. Uh, I've been uh, a ham since 1990, and, and pretty much since from the day I got my ham license, I started doing tea hunting. Uh, primarily in, in uh, Southern California is where I did most of my hunting. Um, and then uh, since I've lived out in the East Valley for uh, about two and a half years, I've been working to try to get uh, fox hunting <coughs> active out, out here. I guess actually it's active again because it, it used to be fairly active. Uh, but it has since kind of died down. Um, so my goal here is, oh well, let me give up for in the interest of full disclosure, I do have a, uh, a home business where I sell amateur radio parts or amateur radio equipment. Primarily it's uh, APRS based, but um, I also have a little bit of tea hunt stuff that I sell as well. But my goal here is not here to, to sell you guys anything. I'm here to just sell you on the concept of amateur radio uh, direction finding, uh, tea hunting, and hopefully you guys are going to come participate with some of the hunts we have. Um, I'd like to start with just a quick demonstration. I'll, uh, I've got two transmitters here on two meters, and I'll, uh, I'll turn them on. One's on 146.42, one's on 146.46. I'm going to turn them on, hand them to two random people, and then I'll uh, step out of the room, have those two random people hand them to two other random people, and we'll see if I can find them in this room. All right? Sound good? Okay, so here's one here, and here's one here. And uh, I'll step out. You guys give them to someone else or, or put them somewhere where I can hopefully access them, but uh, without climbing over too much, and let me know when you're ready. Oh, yeah. All right, we're good. Okay. So let me, uh, I'll, I'll let you know what these things sound like. Uh, I'll turn on the radio here on one four, actually, it's kind of. 146.420. So there's one of them. And the other one's on 4.6. A little faster. So I'm going to use this uh, this thing right here. It's a uh, three element Yagi antenna. You know, like just a normal uh, Yagi, like you might see for pretty frequency. Two meters is what this one's for. And let's see. Uh, 146.420. Frequency 6.420. I'm turning the volume up a little bit. It's making a tone that is stronger when I'm pointing towards the signal. It's kind of small in this type room. That one's telling me it's generally in this direction. I'm going to grab an NH or a Much stronger now. <laughs> it's, uh, you can't reach it? I'm, I'm not sure that that's the one. I see, I see something that looks a lot like a transmitter, but just to be sure, Yeah, so that's definitely the one on 642. So uh, I'll press my luck and see if I can find the one on 6460. Well. Oh, I think it just went off the air. I've got these things on like a 60% duty cycle. strong over this area. Let me torch. Yeah, so I think it's too big for this antenna. I'm going to take this antenna off it. Let's see if we can't just snip it out with a little bit. Uh, I think I see a little, a little piece of black antenna poking out the back of that guy. It's right back there. Very good. So that's kind of the basic idea of, of how these hunts uh, how these hunts work. Let me just power these down because we're going to use these in a couple of weeks for our upcoming hunt. So uh, also, I found out I left my my uh, script of talking points at home. So I'm going to just be completely winging it here with all my all my toys. Um, I don't really have any kind of uh, on screen presentation. It's primarily just a. Uh, Show and tell of all the, the tea hunting toys I've, I've uh, gathered over my, my uh, ham career. Primarily since I'm more of a hands-on guy, guy and I think people like to be able to see these things. So I'll have all these out after the meeting if you want to come take a look and, and uh, explore them. Uh, let's start a little bit about what a tea hunt is and, and why we do it. Um, tea hunt is transmitter hunt. It goes by other names like bunny hunt or uh, ARDF, amateur radio direction finding, fox hunt, things like that. The general idea is uh, kind of like I just showed you. You someone hides a transmitter, 
and uh, the goal is for the other people to go find it, and uh, hopefully as little time as possible, or there's actually other different ways you can, you can set for goals of the, of the hunt. Um, this is beneficial for lots of different reasons. Uh, one, of course, accidental interference. If someone accidentally sits on a mic or something like that, you know, if you have the ability to, to figure out where that is, you can help them shut that down. Um, intentional interference, you know, if you have jammers or, or people that are, uh, maybe have stolen police radios or something like that and think that they're invincible and they can't be found, you know, if you have skills like this, you can, you can use that to track it down. Um, one really nice aspect of, of uh, tea hunting is that you don't need a license in order to hunt because you're only using receiving equipment. So it's great for getting people that are not hams yet or kids started. In fact, kids really enjoy tea hunting. It's, it's, uh, it's worked really well. I've used this thing with lots of first time hunters just hand it to them and say, there, you know, go ahead, listen for the tone sequence and see if you can track it down. And you can usually track it down on their, on their first try. Um, you learn a lot about radio propagation. You you know you learn about what what uh, what makes signals go and, and what makes a good antenna and, and how signals bounce. Um, you learn a lot about your community and your your area, your neighborhood, because you're driving around on all these roads. People hide things, and you're and you're uh, doing a lot of exploring with maps or GPS sometimes, and, and you really get to learn a lot of the areas. Um, and it's just a chance also to just get outside the hamshack, do something outdoors. It's it's a lot of fun. So. Uh, I definitely would recommend you know come give it a try. We we have active hunts uh, monthly out here in the in the East Valley, and I'll tell a little bit more about that later. Um, but that's kind of uh, I, definitely the most fun that I've had in in my uh, twenty odd years of the hobby. So I recommend people give it a try.